Hello, my name is Arthur and in the last video of this series of videos I was going to look at getting a moving character into my scene and see how things worked out there and well what I did was I ran into my first isometric snag and it's a doozy fortunately uh, I can work around it. So I've gotten this character. He can move a bit. I've got the isometric movement figured out so that he moves along the right angles and stuff. But, uh-oh. He seems to climb the tree rather than be on the other side of it. And that's something I never thought about the same problem exists with the walls and I've given them some collision objects to the walls so I haven't bothered with the tree and I looked at the nature of the problem and I came to a solution with the walls but it only works in one condition it only really works in the condition that the character never makes it outside of this wall or I suppose the wall could also be used as a type of barrier with an obstacle on the other side of the wall like a water obstacle or something like that so what I did was I moved the the two poles of the wall into a different tile map and just put them beneath the character and I came to a solution with the tree also so let's just stop this and have a look at what I did turns out that if I actually want to make a wall that the character can walk on either side of there's no way that I can make it as long as it is because it's just not going to work that way for for Godot to know how to draw it see when I'm on this side of this wall I'm sort of going right through the wall so that pretty much means that I can't have the character come within any closer than that to this wall so there would always need to be some type of a, a barrier like say another wall on the outside and water on the inside or something of that nature and for the tree well that tile map that can just go bye bye because it's not going to work so that is not the way to handle a tree and you can see as I've left all of the walls in the tile map that's above the character and then I put this side of the walls into a map that's beneath the character so that sorts out the the layer issue there or the Y issue so to sort out the tree and to figure out how to get the character to be able to pass behind things I found a node called Y sort and that sorts out the issue and in order to make walls that the character can go on to either side of well, I'm going to need to get out of the tile map idea and build the walls in smaller sections. And um, here's how the Y sort works. It's looking at the Y axis and going, well, the character is in front of the tree. Then, I'm going to get the character there. I'm grabbing the tree. When the character goes onto the other side of the Y axis, boink, there he is, he's behind the tree. He's in front, he's behind. 
So when it comes to the wall, well, I'm pretty sure the origin for the wall is going to be, here, let's delete some of this wall here. We'll take that out and we'll take that out. And we'll just look at the problem with a wall of this length. See, the y-axis is here. So when he's here, he would be beneath the y-axis of this wall because it's so long. Um, with y-sort, he would pop in front of the wall when he's behind it. And the opposite would be true on this side of the wall. So there's no way that I'm going to be building a map that the character can go around a wall of this length. That is just not going to work. Um, I don't consider the tile map to be an absolute loss. Like it can be used for, like I said, large barriers and between the tile map above and the tile map below. I can sort out where the character would be in front of the wall by not letting him come any closer to the wall than that. So if I built a barrier that he could not pass that kept him that far away, then this wall is perfectly valid. But for walls that he can come in close to and walk around, it's going to take a solution more like the tree. Because the tree has a nice clear solution and you can see I put a collision object with the tree to prevent some of the awkwardness of having him pass right through the tree so he can't go anywhere through the tree he can go brush against the leaves basically but nothing severe and passes in front and behind the tree quite easily so I'm going to have to look at designing some, some more wall art and obstacle art that's more useful. For the collisions on the walls, um, we can take a quick look at that because the walls are not a complete loss. They're just not going to work quite the way I was thinking. Um, that's a live and learn thing because I never really thought about the in front of and the behind issue that's just something that hadn't occurred to me I was more more interested in making the animations but let's have a look at the walls in the tile set in terms of collision just to get an idea how that's done and it should be kind of obvious already the collision for the guy is down at his feet the collision for the tree is at the base of the tree. So naturally the collision for the tile map is going to be at the base of the wall. And if we were to zoom in and look at that it's kind of obvious how to do that. It has the same two to one pattern as anything else that what is as the artwork was drawn with. So basically it's a drawing of the top of the wall. Put four pixels down, four grid spaces down. And the snap options are just configured in the same eight pixel dimension that we drew the walls with and that's how the collisions were handled for the wall so yeah that's how that worked out and in the next video I'll come up with um, maybe some sort of tile map that goes and creates that barrier and see if I can come up with with a way to make these this artwork not a waste of time um, I'm pretty sure that 
that idea that I'm suggesting of putting a barrier so that he can't come within certain distances and this part might be an issue here I haven't gotten that figured out yet I'll have to think about that and see if it works out um, otherwise yeah about the only thing I can do is is use the pictures and cut them down into smaller chunks and and use the artwork in a different way so that's it for this video I'll come back with some with some solutions to that issue and go through a few tutorials myself to see if I can find some solutions so until next time take care